Now, Kenya's digital content creator economy has grown immensely and more and more creatives have taken to their social media platforms such as Instagram, TikTok and YouTube to monetize their work. This has caught the attention of the government. According to the proposed finance bill 2023, if fortunes are being made on social media, then content creators must pay tax. Veteran content producer Eric Omondi spoke to Citizen TV about the proposed 15% withholding tax on payments related to digital content and how it will impact the thousands of young people who make a living in the digital space. <laughs> Two types of content creators. There's Eric Omondi and Churchill, and then there's the 19-17 the year old or the guy from university now who is actually struggling and try is is They've made their first check from YouTube. Most of them. So in a kujanga kama YouTube So YouTube pays you 15k, it comes in Shakatiwa. And they send it to the bank. So you can get a bank, bank now. Can so you can talk even about a gava. Ha! You are dead. So answering your question, uh, it, it, it's gonna fifteen percent is going to kill the, the the content creation industry instantly. You too. Eh, you too. I know there's the issue of high cost of living, and all Kenyans are affected, but youths are the most affected. And right now, over 60% of them have opted to create their own employment. And the bigger percentage are online uh, content creators, online media. So these are people who are, are unemployed. Most of them have gone to college, universities, they have papers, but there are no jobs. So, and they have to pay their bills. So pe people are becoming creative, young people. And they're seeing there is viability in content creation. Pombe mesha kwenye arusi. Pombe mesha kwenye arusi. Ah, ya wafuasi. Tusaidia wa mama. Ndiyo. Tulete mikoba na maji. The new generation of content creators are not bowling. I am bowling because I've been here since 2008, before content creation, before digital media. I was on, I was on TV. I was born on TV. These people are not born on TV. I have made my little money from 2008, 2009, 16 years. Content creators go through a lot, yeah, before they hold that cash, before finally hold that check. You've, uh, you've tarmacked, you've earned your money through sweat and blood. Because you have to be current, you have to make sense year after year, you have to observe continually, uh, you, whatever you do, you're, try, you're trying to, for lack of a better word, to, 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 to entertain or please the masses. Have to be co extreme, have to be consistent. Actually, the, the first thing is consistency. Uh, like, personally, I do like, uh, since 2008, I, I do like three to four videos every week. And there's the pressure of being funny, being relevant. Wow. Wow. There's a lot of investment that goes uh, goes on behind the scenes. For example, the, the the least you need is a camera, sound, light, and an editor at any given point. That's the simplest uh, uh, content. It's just me maybe doing a piece to camera. I, I, I'll spend, today, I'll spend 15,000 anytime I shoot. That's the least. For someone like Eric Omondi, who always uh, is extreme and goes out of his way, it, it will take you at, at least at least 35 or 50k. Hey, man, man. Big shout out to Vince on the beach, I had to do this for the fans' sake. I'm getting all this love on the fan page. And plus, I killed it on a damn stage. To have cast, to have costume, to have uh, location, uh, to have props. I have to hire three Range Rovers, sometimes even a chopper. You know, so when people watch that content, they laugh like, ah, he's so stupid and funny. But nobody really thinks about what it took. Ah, 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 ah,
It's basically tamaking. Unatafuta job. You look for clients, you write proposals, you share your ideas, you approach clients, you tell them, I think we can do this and this. They shoot most of them down. They tell you, change this, change that. This is before you are given any money. You go through a lot of process, yeah? They approve, they disapprove, and then now, now you have to now start planning for the shoots, and then you have to deliver, you, you edit, you send, they make changes. It's a lot of work. See, when Ibabi was the bishop and the judges, in fact, I blow my talk into us and lunches. You hella done what you kissed me. Sorry, excuse me, just give me a minute. I'm talking to my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Haha, <laughs> blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Oh my god. Boyfriend, I'm going to make him be a kimbi 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 kimbi. So, what the government needs to do is, first of all, understand, then support. The ministries involved or responsible, ICT, Ministry of Youth, call these guys. Call them to KNT, to KCC, all of them from Mombasa, Nyeri, Kisumu. Call them, give them the mic, listen, listen and understand them. What is Vijana, let's support them until they get to a level where they are taxable. I don't think they are taxable, they are not. That's what I'm saying, we need to have that conversation before we pass this this uh, finance bill. Like. I'm a nigga that I can't slay. Don't think you can intimidate me, boy, this man's brain. If, if the creatives have become creative enough to help them create employment, they should then help it grow. It's like, it's like killing a calf. We wait for it to, to grow into a cow or a bull. That's basically what they're doing. Do, do, not, do not tax content creators.